Don't you think you get in your mind will control you if you don't have a mind of your own? Which means, if he says to you he wants you out and you haven't got a mind of your own, you're throwing out. And if you throw him out and he's classed as a vulnerable person and gets run over, he's going to be in trouble. Would you agree with me? Yeah? So you need to have a mind of your own regardless of what your manager says. Whatever your manager says is not the full story. You as a conflict manager need to find out the full story. And you know what I said when you was out before you went out? Which was? What did I say to you? I said deal with the situation accordingly and appropriately. Didn't I say that? Yeah? And I, there were some good things that came out which I liked. But I want your breakdown on this now. So what happened then? Forget what I've written on there. Tell me why you did what you did. What did you do and why did you do it? Uh, I actually was trying to help you. Yes. And read your mind that what's wrong? Mm. How can I help you to solve the problem? Okay. But then you, you want to get out. So I thought, okay, he's going to compromise. Mm -hmm. He have a cause and He was wanting money back. Mm -hmm. And he's living now. So Okay, all right, there's some good things that went on there. Sometimes we do things, we don't realize we're doing them. So there were some good things that were going on there, which I liked. Some of which, for example, you stepped away. Yeah, it's sure. best for... Really, but at the same time, looking at things so that yeah, they don't cause a uh, problem among those uh, people who suffer. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That, that, that was great. But the reason why I said that was because you actually established a contact cover position. It's called contact cover, that is. And we contact cover two people never do the talking. Never. It is always one person talk. Remember what I said to you earlier on? Schizophrenia is when someone talks to somebody else that is real in their world. They can hear up to three to four different voices. They may not have had their medication. I don't know. But when they're talking to other people, what's going on is you're talking to them. And guess what? The voices are talking to them. Did you not see me look up and talk up at this? Yeah? The voices are talking to them. So if I've got three, four, five different vo voices talking to me, what am I going to do? Get confused, yeah. Confusion could lead to a trigger, trigger to violence, couldn't it, yeah? I could get paranoid, couldn't I? So because one of you did the talking, that was great, and you stepped away. I know you said something there. I remember you saying something over here when I was about here. Yeah? If you'd have come into my space and started pushing me around, then it would have gone bad. Not that I, I wouldn't have done anything ritually, but the scenario would have gone up a notch. But you didn't. The other thing you did was you gave me a lot of spatial awareness, didn't you? You allowed me a chance to move around. Fantastic. A lot of people don't do that. You gave me a chance to move. If you've got someone with mental health, let them move around. If you block them in, or block the areas they're going to, then uh, you're going to cause a problem. The other thing I liked was your attitude, position, attitude, look, listen, make space and stance, you did it, you positioned yourself well, your attitude was good, you didn't over push, very kind, appeared to be caring, and I might well have responded to that. One thing was missing, which I liked, well, I would have liked to have seen. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, no intro. Believe it or not, yeah. Introduction is the way in. Intro will get you in.
to his mind, yeah? Although, although he might have mental health problems, yeah? He will just listen to you if you get his name or if you introduce yourself. He may not know who you are. And... What? And why? I'm here to help you, sir. I want to help you. I have 100% heart and intention to help you. Your tonality was fantastic. Long silences are no good. If you leave someone and don't talk to them, it's bad because you're building up tension. So you don't. You didn't do that. You talked. You broke away and you talked again. But if 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 it's like when you start a conversation with someone who's got problems like this, you carry on, which is good. You did that. You stepped away and you started again. And then you said, "This is a taxi for you." Yeah. Now, if someone's vulnerable, we don't want to really kick them out. If it means going back to my manager and saying, well, listen, this guy's vulnerable. I'm not sure he's okay. So that's what I want to do, call the ambulance. Or call the relevant people. Remember Frank Bruno knocking on the doors in Liverpool, they arrested him, Mental Health Act. They sectioned him because he'd lost it. Frank Bruno was a famous boxer. He fought Mark Tyson, Mike Tyson. So in terms of uh, using the correct, it's not about, although he got arrested, he got put in the right place, the arrest led to it. But you don't call the police, it's more the ambulance to get them the help they need. To the Jew you become a Jew, to the Sikh you become a Sikh, to the African you become an African, to the Christian you become a Christian, to the mental health patient you become the... What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. They normally respond. They normally respond to a social care worker. So if you use a caring tone, like you was, then you're going to get through. That will work. If you use the wrong tone, it won't work. Uh, don't restrain. Worst thing you can do, because they're already paranoid. Reassurance, plenty of it, give them plenty of reassurance. Uh, restraint can kill them because they're, they're already, they're acidy, the body's acidy. And there's, because of may not have taken the medication, that's why they're in that state in the first place. Are we okay with that? Other than that, it's pretty good. I like, I like what you did. I like the way you used it. I like the way you moved around. Um,